Hey everybody, this is Jack with Spy Pie Gaming. Um, today, we're going to be going over how to make a pretty decent amount of gold <clears throat> off of one daily quest. Um, this particular quest has a chance to drop a crafting motif in the Minotaur style, the... Um, chess piece in particular is goes for roughly 700,000 or so um, gold the quest takes roughly I don't know 10 minutes however long the longest part of it is having the boss that you have to kill spawn and the quest is called looming shadows so um the catch is <clears throat> you can only pick up one quest at a time. So I'm going to show you where we're at here. We are in the Gold Coast in Kavach. So where you go to pick up the quest Where we go to pick up the quest is right around the center of the city. Um, there's a bounty board. And there's actually two quests that come out of the zone. If we don't, <clears throat> if we don't, sorry, excuse me, my sinuses are kicking my ass right now. If we don't get the quest the first time, then it's fairly simple to get it by typing into zone chat and asking for a quest share um, but both quests do have an opportunity to drop crafting motifs um, if you're collecting those you can get uh, I want to say the assassins motif um, but anyway we'll go ahead we'll go ahead and play through it and See if we get the quest. All right, yeah, Tribune's Folly. So this is going to be the, the uh, Looming Shadows quest. All right, started Looming Shadows. Now, what we do is we got to collect a few relics, and we have to kill, um, clear the excavation site, which means that we have to kill. one of the world bosses both quests are actually kill a world boss but this one is far more lucrative so <clears throat> this is the one that you're hoping for all right we'll go ahead and get the ones um, get the relics grab we'll go ahead and grab the relics that are not in the uh, excavation site or in the cave with the world boss and when you pick these up there you go most of the time these guys spawn all right I've had them uh, I've had them not spawn but normally they do and I don't know if that's game froze for a second there Come on, Zoss. I thought we were talking about stability. No, I'm kidding. Uh, I have picked them up before. I have picked up the uh, relics and had those ads like not spawn. Most of the time they do. Alright. Okay. <clears throat> Two of the three are outside of Tribune's Folly. Um, the third one is inside it. And I have also had experience experiences where I have dealt damage to this boss and it did not 
give me the loot from the boss. So, all right, he is currently spawned. So we're gonna go. Oh, get up. Lamentaris is a very difficult boss to kill if you're on your own, so I suggest, even for more experienced players, I really suggest you don't come in here by yourself. Uh, this is Golden Idol of Morehouse. Hmm. Excellent. Yeah, I really need to work on the antiquity system on this character. Anyway, the third relic is over here by the... Uh, little bonfire looking deal <clears throat> anyhow that is the entire quest now we lucked up and had the boss already spawned in uh, when we came into the cave so that is normally the longest part of this all right, as far as getting back to Gavach, you can, you know, you can fast travel, you can do what, you know, get out, get there however you want to. Um, if you just look for that tower in the distance, that is Gavach. And we are not gonna go that way, we're gonna go this way because there's more stuff to kill over there. And not that we can't, but it's a little bit annoying, so. see what we got out of this there's also overland gear and stuff like that to drop so I mean you know even it is it is RNG and sometimes it's ESO's RNG is like the RNG that hates so I usually do this quest on a couple of characters a day uh, I know people are big fans of the uh, Deadlands and Fargrave dailies, which are good. Um, I may make a video on that as well, but we turn this, uh, we turn Looming Shadows in to Finia. Site's been cleared. We get a Gold Coast daily contract recompense. Quest is completed. That took all of, you know, not even 10 minutes. And let's see if we got it. Okay, we did not get it. But, you know, sometimes you get it, sometimes you don't. Sometimes you get, sometimes you get got. Anyhow, the, uh, I do have one currently, let's see here. I do have one currently on the auction house. Uh, are for sale through a guild trader and I want to say <clears throat> on the low end I want to say it's roughly f it's it's around 500 and something thousand gold just for this one crafting motif um, on the high end it's 720,000 something like that I'll look it up I'll make sure I look it up on uh, Tamriel Trade Center and uh, put that in this video as well, so you can see that I'm not just you know blowing hot air, blowing hot air. Um, but anyway, yeah. So anybody looking for a quick buck is, I would suggest doing the the uh, dailies here. Come here, you know, if you end up with the other the other option or the other quest that you may pick up is. You have to go into the Kavaj arena, arena and kill the boss in there. And if that is the one you get, like I said, you just go into, you know, you just go into your little chat box. Go into zone chat. Hmm. Go into zone chat. Oh, look, I typed for no reason. You just go into zone chat and type in, you know, anyone sharing looming shadows and had I not done it already 
more than likely someone in the zone would be more than happy to share that quest. Now, I'm not going to actually enter that message because I can't get the quest. I've done it. Um, but, quick way to make pretty good amount of gold. I mean, you spend eight minutes at the high end. You're going to spend 15 minutes doing this if you have to wait for the boss to spawn. Um, but I figured it was this would be a good good way to show a way to earn gold that is not you know like a harvesting grind or anything of that nature um because because there are you know there's a good number of dailies in this game that are that that drop items that are valuable and can be sold on the yield trader um anyhow so that's going to be it for today's video <clears throat> if you like the video please like and share it and if you want to see more like this join our community um, this community is focused around you the player we try to show realistic things that you can actually do in game um, to you know accomplish different things like we have plenty of dungeon guides on the channel there's a couple of you know gold farm like farm routes that'll produce a good amount of gold for you if you you know you do them a couple of a time or two a week really is all it takes um also i want to make sure that i mention because it's new to the channel um or new to spy Pie gaming we are now we've partnered with another small business a small business to that has agreed to um produced by Pi gaming shirts i will link that up in the corner of the video <clears throat> sorry really kicking my butt anyway i will link that up in the corner of the video it's also posted the link is also posted in the community uh, tab on our youtube page and then something else that's new is down below this video there is a button that says thanks um, you can click that and donate a couple of dollars it helps you know keep the channel growing um by allowing us to <clears throat> gosh dang let me get a drink anyhow doing that helps keep us keep the channel growing and helps support us acquiring you know the things that we need to deliver a better experience to all of you watching which is our goal and we would love to be able to improve the quality of the content and things you know things of that nature so um, anyhow appreciate it if you haven't subscribed to the channel please subscribe if you do so make sure you hit that bell icon that way every time we put out a video you will be notified and that's all i have for today and i'll see you guys in the next video all right <clears throat> so just so everybody knows and i can show you that i wasn't kidding crafting motif 39 minotaur chests which comes from the Looming Shadows Daily Quest. As you can see, 700,000, a million, 725, 625, 670, or 765. These are all, you know, last seen, so we can sort it by price, actually. So the cheapest one you're going to find on the uh, auction house right now, or guild traders, is 580,000 gold. <clears throat> And it just goes up from there. So, you know, and there's you know, on the high end. Whoop. Let's find out what the high end is. 1.4 million gold. Now, is that one going to sell? Ah, maybe, maybe not. I mean, it was listed, you know, less than an hour ago. Um, <clears throat> you get a couple of them that are listed, you know, several hours ago. Sort by last scene. 
Hmm. Wrong. All right, there we go. 11 minutes ago, somebody for 1 million, 10 minutes ago, 829,000. So very lucrative piece to pick up. <clears throat> uh, piece, I say. Very lucrative crafting motif to pick up. And this is not actually the only one um, that pulls a lot of money. Let's see if we change this to legs. I actually sold a legs piece um, today. Yo, these right here, look. In a matter of 15 minutes, that's, I mean, that's a decent chunk of gold, especially if you're not, you know, trying to ground out millions and millions and millions of gold. But if you are and you have several characters, the more characters you do this on, the better the chance you have of getting it. So, anyway, I wanted to slip this in there. I know I closed out the video already. Um, but... I did want to go ahead and show, hey look, it is it is actually, let's change this back to chests. <clears throat> I did want to go ahead and show you, hey look, yeah, this this is this is lucrative. Somebody eight minutes ago posted for 950,000 gold, so, um, I mean, that's a pretty good, and there's mine right there actually, 725,000. Um, that's a pretty good income in game for, you know, a matter of somewhere between eight and 15 minutes of gameplay. Uh, there are not, not a lot of things in the game that go for this much. There are, you know, there's, there's a few uh, items out there that are far more difficult to get than this, but there you go. Alright everybody, this time I really will see you guys in the next video.